So um, I have to record this thing all over again because apparently YouTube was not recording. Hmm. Um, and as I explained the first time I recorded this, I broke my laptop screen. Uh, it's completely and utterly busted, and I literally can't see anything. But I have an uh, um monitor that was laying around the house that was attached to nothing, and at the moment I have that attached to my computer so I can see. It's a hassle, but at least it makes my computer usable. I like it wouldn't be. Uh, why I didn't vlog last week? Well, um, I started school the 18th of August, and, um, well, I'm still adjusting towards waking up at 6 in the morning, well, 5.45 when my alarm clock goes off. Uh, so... I, I stayed up late the day before just because I'm so used to staying up late and um, I got home I woke up the time I was supposed to got ready all that stuff went to school I had an audition after school got home at like 4.30 uh, I started homework and then I fell asleep on the couch waking up at like 9 or waking up at like 7 had lunch and then I went to go meet dinner then I had 8 and then Started working on my homework, fell asleep again, woke up at 10, had more homework to do, and at that point it was like midnight, and I was like, forget this, I don't have time to vlog. Uh, I felt, I'm apologize for that, you know what? P challenge me, punish me, because I haven't, I've not been A-game on my, uh, vlogging. And I have started school, and I have like three punishments that should be like sent to me but I haven't and Katie I know I didn't send you your stuff but um yeah you submitted something anyway for that but um I apologize for that too uh I didn't see the video till like Tuesday afternoon <laughs> and at that point you had already uploaded the video you sent in um I'm such a bad, I'm such a bad, I'm such a bad collaborator. Uh, I have to improve on that, I'm so sorry. Anyway, so I did see the Doctor Who episode, and I thought it was really good, and it's mind consuming right now. Um, my favorite parts would definitely be when Rory and Amy get stuck in the, um, giant robot Amy, and Rory was all like, I'm in a giant robotic version of my wife. I'll try not to make that as a metaphor or something like that and I love that part and when the doctor was um, dying and he got he went to the TARDIS and voice intercept and um, how Rose and then Martha and then Donna and he's all like guilt 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 is there anyone in the world I have messed up and then little Amelia Pon um, got there and she's all like hey um, yeah I thought that was nice he has 32 minutes to live. Oh, you're not telling me what will happen in 31 minutes. You have 30 minutes. In 32 minutes, you'll be dead. In 31 minutes, you'll still be alive. <laughs> anyway, so there's something I want to talk about today that I was going to talk about last week, but I never ended up flipping it. I love this book series. More than I love this book series. I gotta explain myself. Why I love this book series more than this book series. Don't get me wrong, I love this book series. Me and my dad read this book series together um, over my summer year between um, ninth grade, before ninth grade. Me and dad, my dad had a little competition and we read this together. And that's how I got really introduced. So, like, I watched the video, the movies where they came out and all that stuff. I didn't actually read the um, books until ninth grade. But these book series have been with me since 8th grade when the first book came out. And I've been a fan since 2008, which is when they came out. And um, the first one did, and then I had to wait for all of them to come out. And I stayed up late Sunday and watched the VMAs and was all like, Oh my god, the Hunger Games! <laughs> I, um, this book has gotten me through a lot in my life. And if it wasn't for this book, I don't know, think I could have survived. My first two years of high school, and I'm terrified to see the movies come out because I'm terrified. I'm just so scared that they're gonna butcher my favorite book series in the world. Uh, this is 
over five minutes now, but I may as well finish what I'm saying. Uh, the Hunger Games, the first one comes out March 23rd, 2012, which is three days before my 17th birthday. So, I might go see the midnight premiere of that one as a birthday present, which will excite me beyond no doubt because I get to see PETA's sexy and Gail sexiness. Oh, PG, PG channel. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I get to see their, their, their hotness. The, the, the blonde hair and the dyed blonde hair and the, the, the dyed dark brown hair and the gray eyes and Gail and Peter and Peter, 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 Peter. Um, and I love the guy who's playing Peter. I loved him ever since, um, we need to have a theme so I could talk about Hunger Games in full death, people. I really hope you guys have all read the Hunger Games because I, this is, this will be a theme because I need to talk, I need my Hunger Games fix on this channel. So this will be a theme one of these weeks, okay? And if you haven't seen it, tell me what you think it is. Uh, um, yeah. Talk about the games down below. Now it's like over six minutes. Uh, okay. Uh, I should have saved this for the beginning and then I would have rushed the rest and it would have been at least decent. Uh, I plan to talk more about the Hunger Games. As I get excited. Oh, this is my, my hairspray, by the way. Um. Yes, we're gonna have to have a Hunger Games theme. Anyway, so, bye. That was so creepy. Bye!